Hello everyone, I am Torior and today I bring you a little guide on how to exploit a subject, manpower. You have probably seen me do it quite a lot of times in my challenges, but now I'm going to explain exactly how it's done. For that purpose I have started the game as the Netherlands, because they do start with a very nice puppet Dutch East Indies that have tons of manpower. See, we only have 35,000, they have 800,000. Also, they are an integrated puppet, which means the colonial troops get all of their manpower from them. Now, in order to exploit this, you will need the Together for Victory DLC. And how do you do that? Well, first, we make a colonial template from here. Dutch East Indies. And they have what? They have two templates available, Pure Infantry and Smaller Pure Infantry. Let's use this one. And train tons of it and prioritize it. So, by having only 35,000 manpower, we can field a huge army just using their manpower. In order to deploy as many as possible quickly, I'm going to disband all my regular units to use their equipment. Also, let's build some more equipment. And these units, colonial units, do deploy in their country of origin, which can be inconvenient, however, you can just make normal units and then switch them over to the colonial templates. Actually, I probably should have done that rather than disbanding them, but hey, it's too late now. So, let's unpause and see them train. We're back to 107,000 uh, manpower because I disbanded the units we had in the field. See, all these guys are at full manpower. We're not missing manpower for them, we're just missing equipment. Let's deploy them. can deploy some more. Alright, this is enough for a proof of concept. 72,000 manpower, which we didn't have to pay for. This is not our manpower that's in the field. Now, how do we take it as our own? How do we, you know, make it our manpower fully? Well, we have to annex uh, the puppet. But wait, wouldn't that give us their manpower anyway? Well, no, because you only get full manpower from core provinces. And if we annex them, they will not be core provinces. So, as you can see here, we get 1.5% manpower from core provinces, but only 0.027% from non-core provinces, which is 50 times less. One will only get 1 50th of their normal manpower if we annex them. But this, this way, we can get way more. How do we go about this? Well, to do this properly, you kind of want to use older manpower to have older manpower in the field. And currently, it's all in training. It's all here. Now, what we're going to do is annex them. How do we annex them? Well, we lower their autonomy. You can do that through focuses, through land lease, and through construction. Let's do construction first. Let's just do military factories everywhere. This is going to contribute to lowering uh, their independence a little bit. And let's also do land lease. What are we producing? We're only producing regular guns. All right, let's send them the regular guns. Land lease to our puppet, guns, 100%. Now let's just do number, like 10,000 monthly. And convoys. I can send all my convoys to them. We'll get them back anyway. That will reduce their autonomy quite significantly because we have tons of convoys. So let's unpause, wait and see the result. Lendlees is arriving. Also, we'll need 300 political power to annex them. Another bit of land lease arrived. Oh, we still haven't sent them all the convoys we were supposed to, which means we will have them annexed in no time, because we sent a total of 500 convoys, which is quite a lot. Spanish Civil War don't care. We can't deploy any more units because we're sending all the guns to them, but it uh, doesn't really matter, it's a proof of concept after all. Ah, oh, I forgot to build convoys to send them. Um, that's a pity. Would have helped a little bit. Okay, now we're ready to annex. Now, let's watch the manpower closely. We have 109 of our own manpower and 72,000 manpower in the field and tons in training. Now, when I click annex, I clicked annex. Let's let the game run for one more month so everything would happen. We have 111,000 in the field. Uh, some of those are the troops we have made as colonial templates, and some of them are the troops that they made and we inherited. Now, let's go to the training screen here. As you can see, all the huge amounts of manpower that were here have disappeared. If I cancel this, this only brings back uh, our normal manpower, which was around 100,000 and now it's 130,000, uh, because this is not core territory. So we did not inherit their full manpower and we did not keep the manpower that was in training. 
so we didn't earn that much from it. However, we did get all the manpower that was already in the field. So if we were to focus on deploying units as soon as possible instead, we would have gotten much more. To sum up, we have gained uh, the manpower from those eight units that we have deployed, in addition to all the units that they have deployed. Now, what if we focused on deploying more units instead? Let me show you how that would have gone. Let's uh, restart the exact same scenario. Again, Netherlands. Again, make colonial templates. Copy this one. But this time we're going to do it a bit differently. We're going to use this template of ours in order to get a lot of those in the field early. This only has two units and we will modify that to just have one in a moment. So let's try an infinite amount of these guys. Well, not infinite, but you know. And switch all our current units to them. The smallest unit you can find. All right, we want to have all our current manpower in the field as these guys. And make sure that training new ones is our priority. So this time let's not forget making convoys. This time I will be keeping the guns and still building factories in their territory and still sending them convoys. All right, building factories in their territory to lower their autonomy. Researching industrial stuff. Let's get those military factories from industrial effort. Now to make this more efficient we will need some army experience, we'll, we'll get that from a theorist in a moment. And keep deploying these guys as soon as we can. We don't want them trained, we don't want them equipped, we just need a lot in the field. With our 100,000 manpower we should be able to deploy 100 of those units if we can decrease their size. I could do that by training or by employing um, a theorist to get me the army experience. Or by a focus. We want as many of those as humanly possible. Oh, let's also make sure we send them all our convoys in lend lease in order to get their autonomy down. But well, just the convoys this time. Let's say a hundred per month. Until we're all out. We've deployed what we can. We can't train any more of these guys because we don't have the manpower. Well, that's not going to be a problem for long. We are on volunteer only. We could increase our, you know, normal manpower by changing that. But it's, you know, it's not the concept I want to show. Military theorist. Army experience gain. Soon we'll have enough to modify the template. Again, the smaller it is, the better. How is their autonomy? Going down because of the land lease. I suppose I should have done naval effort. Let's do that now. Uh, right, we have five experience. Let's modify this unit to be half its current size. Why? Well, because then we have twice the number. We're the same manpower. Should be able to deploy these in no time. Also, let's add tons of units. Deploy all that we can. We just want to have a lot of them. Around a hundred will suffice. Have we used all the manpower? It seems so, yes. How many units did I get in the end? 109. That should be enough to exploit all their manpower. How do we do that now? Well, I'm going to take all of them and switch them over to the colonial template. Now, we got all the manpower back. And the manpower is supplied by our puppet. And the manpower, exact, um, the manpower immediately went into, you know, training more units. So, let's have a look at their manpower now. We have used up all of their manpower. How? Well, because it went to these units. Look at the manpower. 8.1, 90% manpower. Which means this whole army has around or over 800,000 manpower. That has all come from our puppet. Now, we need to finish the annexation process. Don't really need the guns anymore. We can add them to the land lease. To think of it, we didn't actually need to decrease uh, the size of the unit. We could have just, you know, deploy 10, switch to colonial, deploy 10, switch to colonial. We could have done it that way. But reducing the size meant we actually needed less equipment to make it happen. And they are ready to be annexed. Remember, you need 300 political power to do that. Manage subject, annex subject. Boom! They have been annexed. Now let's cancel this training, it's not necessary anymore. See, all the manpower that we had before, even a little bit more, because we are also getting manpower from their territories. Again, we're not getting the core manpower, because it's not our core territory. However, look at this. This army still has all the manpower that went into it. It still has all of their manpower. And that is not going away. 
We even reinforce them with our own. Now, look what happens when I disband this army. A million manpower as the Netherlands. Nice, isn't it? And this is not disappearing. It's not a glitch or anything. We have that. So, here's how you steal puppet manpower. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. And make sure to check the description for the playlist containing all my Hearts of Iron 4 challenges, as well as a Patreon link if you would like to tip me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.